पुरे श्रीमापति महादेव की जय जय सीताराम एंड आई एम पन शिवान हरि प्रसाद जॉइनिंग विद यू ऑन दिस ब्यूटीफुल डे एज वी अंडरस्टैंड हिंदुइज्म बिफोर वी कमेंस आवर प्रवचन uh this morning let us cast pans and bow heads and let us close our physical eyes as we join in prarthana and pray to the divine lord and master of the universe hari om hari om hari om om shri ganeshaya namaha om shri saraswatyay namo nama ओम श्री गुरु चरणा कमलेभ्यो नमो नम ओं वक्रतुन्ना महाकाय सूर्यकोटि समभा निर्विघ्न कुर्मेदेशु सर्वदा ओं त्रयंबक यजाही सुगंधि पुष्टिवर्धनम उर्वाकम वंदना मिच्चूर्मुक्षेमृता ओ नम शिवाय गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरुदेव महेश्वरा गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्मा तस्म श्री गुरव नम बुरे श्री गुरु महाराज की जय वंस फॉर अगेन स्वागत and welcome to understanding hinduism we are within the auspicious month of palgun february to march where of course within this month on the 14th tithi which will be on the 28th we will be observing maha shivratri and whilst we prepare to observe maha shivratri this uh, this morning we will understand how do we prepare ourselves to observe maha shivratri who is lord shiva and what are some of the simple offerings that we make on that day of maha shivratri firstly maha means great ratri means night and shiva the great night of lord shiva bhagwan shankar is seen with a crescent the moon upon his chatta upon his head the moon represents wisdom beyond the mind but it needs to be expressed with the tingle of the mind and this is symbolized by the crescent moon which also symbolizes time he is seen wearing the snake around his neck and the snake symbolizes alertness to express the state of consciousness a snake is shown around the neck of lord shiva he holds a trishul in one of his hands and the trishul represents the past present and future and while he holds the trishul he is the holder of time past present and future he knows everything he is mahakal the lord of time he has a third eye which represents alertness knowledge and wisdom are all related to the third eye he has the dhamru which symbolizes the universe which is always expanding and collapsing from an expansion it collapses a an then it re-expands this is the process of creation by the sound of the dhamru of lord shankar lord shiva lord shiva is seen wearing tiger skin wearing rudra mala wearing bhashma ashes he is seen wearing these simple things why he detaches himself from material things and he reminds us that we too should not be attached to the material things of this world we are here upon this earth enjoy it to the fullest enjoy all of god's creation and everything but do not become attached to it so this is lord shiva he is the lord of the universe who sits on kailash parvat he has two forms the nirgun form and the satgun form the human like form and the form of the stone the shivlingam and of course on the night of mahashivratri the form of the shivlingam is worshiped within four pahars and one rudra abhishek the rudra abhishek takes place on the evening <coughs> at 6:15 pm and the four pahars at 9 pm 12 am 3 am and 6 am the four pahars are offered during these four pahars it is said on the night of mahashivratri one should keep vigil one should perform jagran one should keep awake on that night without sleeping chanting om namaha shivaya bhagwan shankar has blessed us with so much things in life 
even the gift of life. And one night, my dear friends, keeping awake is not too much to give to the Lord. It is not that, um, uh, it is not uh, too much of sacrifice uh, for what God has blessed us with. It is simply using that night to offer gratitude, to show God how much we appreciate it, all that he has blessed us with. On that night, we offer upon the shivering gum, Panch Amrit Abhishek offerings. Panch meaning five and Amrit meaning nectars. We offer the milk, which represents our pure devotion. Bhagwan, I come before your pure devotion. May you accept this offering. We offer ghee, the cattle butter. As you say, Bhagwan, I come before your pure thoughts to make these offerings. The dahi is offered. Bhagwan, I come before your pure actions. May you accept my humble offering. The cane juice is offered. Bhagwan, I come before you pure knowledge about you, Bhagwan. May you accept this humble offering. And the fifth offering, the offering of Madhu, honey is offered. Where we say, Bhagwan, I come before you with pure character, surrendering myself totally to your lotus like feet. Offering of water, Bhagwan, may you bless me with purity. Whilst we make these offerings, and we make other offerings to Lord Shiva, the bay leaves are offered to Lord Shiva. The bay leaves have three spans representing again the past, present, and future. The bay leaves are offered downwards upon the Shivlingam, saying, Bhagwan, I surrender to you. If I have made any mistakes in the past, may you forgive me. May you bless me in the present, and may you protect me in the future. Once you make these offerings to Lord Shiva, I remind you on that night of Mahashivratri to chant Om Namaha Shivaya. Om, the eternal sound. Nama Shivaya, the five syllable mantra, the Panch Akshar mantra, the most powerful mantra to Lord Shiva, once chanted with love, with devotion, and with faith. So, my dear devotees, bhaktas, that night of Mahashivratri is slowly approaching us. From now, begin to prepare yourself. Whilst you are cleaning your homes, whilst you are cleaning your jandi area, whilst you are cleaning your mandirs, and your altars chant Om Namah Shivaya. Don't only physically purify your area of worship, but internally purify your mind, your thoughts, your words, your actions, so that when we go before Lord Shiva to pray, not only the surrounding would be purified, but even we ourselves will be purified to surrender to the feet of Bhagwan Shiva. So on that night of Mahashivratri, feel free to join with me as well on my Facebook page for the Shivan Hari Prasad on Media Concepts 29 Facebook page for every Pahar offerings. I have posted earlier a list of puja items, which of course you could purchase, you could prepare. So on that night, you will be ready to make your offerings. We'll be live. Uh, for the 6.15 Abhishek offering at 9 p.m., at 12 a.m., 3 a.m., and 6 a.m. for our Pahar offerings and worship to Lord Shiva. You can join with us and you can make your offerings and receive the blessings of Lord Shiva. On that night of Mahashivratri, we'll wear white clothing. We'll wear this beautiful clothing representing purity. We'll wear the Rudra Mala. And don't only wear it around on the necks, but we will use it to perform jap. How do we use the Rudra Mala, which is associated with Lord Shiva? This bead is the Tasbi. This bead, we don't count. This is the Maka. So we'll chant using the mantra, the Mala like this. And we'll chant Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. And we'll go like this around using this beautiful Mala. And again, we reach here, Om Namah Shivaya. And you bow to your mala. And so on that night, make use of your Rudra Mala and chant Om Namah Shivaya. If it is possible to walk around your Shivlingam, please do so. Praying for your heart's desire and receiving the blessings of Lord Shiva. So on the 28th, which is next week, Monday, we will be observing Mahashivratri. Make every effort to worship Lord Shiva and to receive that blessing. There are many other offerings that could be made to Lord Shiva. On that night, you can view that list on my Facebook page and prepare yourselves to join with us in puja and of course in worship. I do hope and pray that you have learned a little bit about Lord Shiva this morning and of course 
you will practice this worship and practice this puja on the night of Mahashivratri. But when we finish worshiping Lord Shiva on that night of Mahashivratri, we must now take the pure thoughts, the pure actions, the pure mind, the pure words, the pure deeds into our everyday life and living. Not only on the night of Mahashivratri, we should have pure thoughts, we should have pure words, pure actions. But we must now take this into our everyday life and living and allow this devotion to make us better human beings. With this in mind, Jai Sitaram, and of course, uh, may the blessings of Lord Shiva be with each and every one of you. Let us clasp hands and bow heads as we pray once more to Lord Shiva Bhagwan. May he bless each and every one of you today. Om Nagendra Hara Yatri Rochanahaya Basmangaraya Yamaheshwaraya Nittaya Shudhaya Digambaraya Tasmay Nakaraya Om Namah Shivai Om Namah Shivai Om Namah Shivai Bure Shurumapati Mahadeva Ki Jai Satya Sanatan Dharma Ki Jai 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 Sitaram